welcome back to another episode of my Feed the Beast Mod Pack series. As you can see, I've been uh, clearing out a little bit of this plane here because uh, collecting some seeds. So, if you haven't guessed already, my idea is to start up a farm. I want to set up a good wheat farm, but the end result will be honeyed bread. If I can show you. Or honeyed slice is what it's called. Now these, from what I heard, are actually really good as far as how much hunger you gain per slice. And I wanted to figure out how to get the bees, you know, up and running. So what I'm going to do is try to automate as much this pot as possible. So I'll pretty much have a wheat farm that continuously grows wheat, plants wheat, etc. And same with the bees, you know, get up a couple of the uh, automated crafting tables and just have a nice little end result chest with tons of honeyed slices in them. So I'll get it to that and I'll be back to you as soon as I've got some things figured out and set up. All right, so to get this thing started, I need a couple things. Uh, one of them is the carpenter, which I already had. But the other is the uh, thermionic fabricator. Need to uh, get some bronze for that, but uh, collected everything I need for it, and here we have a go. I need a sturdy casing, which I already know how to build. Oh, and I need to grab my gold. All right, I got that. I realized I hadn't actually taken any of my ore down to ingots yet, so. Now that I have that, I can get everything put together. And there we go, a thermionic fabricator. I need this for the farming unit. Because I need to build some of these electron tubes. These can be built on the carpenter, so that's no issue. The electron tube requires the thermionic fabricator and some bronze. So, let's see, I should have the materials for that. Need to grab some redstone. Okay, and I got that, so we just set up the bronze like that. Add in a couple redstone, if I'm correct. I guess I am not correct. One second. Oh, wait, no, I need to add glass. And let me double check this. Okay, I guess I just had to wait. <laughs> I thought for some reason that it would, uh, I, didn't re I didn't realize it would take that long. So anyway, there we have that. And we can pick that up, throw that in, and we just need a small circuit board. So I've got it tinning it over here, put that in here, okay, and we need, I uh, guess we need some uh, items, what is it, we need a bucket of water, or a water cell, or a can, Okay, let's see, I have a bucket here, and let's see if I have water nearby. Alright, so that wasn't too far away, I've got that uh, put in place and made my circuit board here. So, now for the farm. So I need another one of these, throw that right in the center. Pop three of these babies in. Surround the whole thing with glass. And we've got that farm. Now where to set it up? I could put it right up here. I'd benefit from being able to just put some electricity straight from the generate the geothermal energy I have here straight up into here, but uh I'm thinking I want it over there with some of my other farms, because just to have a little bit of consistency. 
I'll set up a place for that and I'll get right back to you. All right, so as you can see, I got this up and running. The uh, farm here apparently doesn't work off redstone engines, or else I'd use those instead. But from what I've heard, these don't uh, explode anymore if they're as long as they're powering something that needs their full power, or at least they can run for a long time. So for now, I'll have this running over here, but. Uh, I'll probably end up uh, switching over to something like a peat bog and some peat engines to keep things running over here and to kind of keep the uh, electrical engines and the farming equipment separate. But yeah, so that's up and running. We've got some wheat already growing as well, so that's good. Uh, and I just realized I probably need to put some water, uh, something underneath these water blocks so that it doesn't update. And, start spilling everywhere underneath it. But yeah, so I got that up and running and I'll be able to get some more food. I'm just about running out now, so that's all good. Now, next part I need to figure out is how to get the uh, apiary up and running. So, I figured that's what I needed to use for the beekeeping and so what I need is this impregnated casing and I need to get some seed oil. So to get that, apparently I need to first make a liquid transposer. So I'll figure out when I need to build that and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I had to get some more this copper ore because I was completely out of bronze and uh, caving I found this. Seems to be a spider spawner. Let's see what goodies we have in here. Ooh, two music discs. And let's get some of this crap out of here. Some string I don't really need. Cocoa beans don't really need. Other stuff is all right. <laughs> Probably want to keep a pick though. Now let's see what else we have. Ooh, iron, silver ingot. So that's nice. And a ruby. Got some pretty good stuff in here. Silver. Uh, I hate gravel, so I'll get rid of that. Copper, ruby. Oh, no, I'd rather have the bone. 
that everything? I guess that is. Let's get this baby lit up. Maybe some other time I can figure out something to do with this. Okay. Well, that's a nice find. I'll get back to you when I'm back up up top with the uh, resources, okay? Alright, so what I actually needed was this uh, squeezer, because so that's all I need to get some oil into some containers and got the materials right here to throw that together. And there we go. And all I need really for this is uh, make some of the uh, oil cans. So let me see. Uh, how do I make them? The oil cans or oil capsules? So oil capsule is made by. Hmm. Where is it? Ah, made with beeswax, apparently. For those, how about just a regular can? I see, three tin ingots. That's simple enough. And this one, the refractory capsule, is refract refractory capsule. Sorry, takes refractory rat. So, it seems I'll be just using some regular cans for this since that's all I've got right now to build with. And I'll grab some more tin. Alright, with those tin cans made, I can just uh, throw some seeds in here and that should be able to put them into the make oil can. Seed oil, seed oil cans. Alright, so... I guess maybe I didn't have enough oil to fill these cans because they never filled. So instead I just set up a little bit of uh, piping here, pumped it directly into the carpenter unit, and that should be enough to get this running. Though uh, it all depends on whether or not that's enough oil to get this completed. However, we'll see. Alright, got that, and now... Can we get to putting this together? Should go like this, yes. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put this over here up on the second floor. And probably just uh, maybe set up a few of them. But, okay. And I'll get a few of this, these things moved up there as well. Alright, got a forest queen in here. Got a nice little skylight that I needed to throw in because it wasn't bright enough here. But uh, yeah, I got uh, this making honey or whatever they do. <laughs> yeah, and I noticed that uh, next thing I need to get built over here is going to be a combine so that I can actually have this automatically harvest everything, but uh, that's for next time really, I guess. Alright, got a nice little setup here. I needed a couple of uh, flowers around because apparently it uh, needs those as well. well. I don't really know, didn't know about it before, so Got that, got a nice little chest for holding my bees in here, and as soon as I get enough honey to actually, you know, make something, I'll be able to have my bread. Well, it turns out I actually know nothing about how to do these bees, except that I need to put a princess in one, a drone in the other, and then they produce stuff. And then of course, they need sunlight and some type of flower next to them. 
some of these uh, hints over here have shown me a little bit more about it, but uh, I'm probably going to need to have a Bealizer, as it's called, to uh, figure out exactly what I need to do for each of these to uh, make sure they're producing very well. I realize this because my forest queen did nothing, and my meadow princess turned queen didn't produce very much, so yeah. I think I'll figure that out another time. Uh, for now, I want to get a combine up and running so that I can start having this uh, farm up here automatically pretty much feed itself and continue uh, growing. So that's what I'm going to get the stuff together for and be right back. Okay, so I'm getting one part of that built right now and just need to get the stuff together for the electron tubes. It's the iron and redstone it seems. Okay. Just like this. Get some glass in there and watch it go. And here we go. Get my sturdy casing put together. Throw in those iron electron tubes, circuit board, and top it off with some glass. And I got my combine up and running. So, I'm uh, probably going to need some more engines to run this, but uh, I'm planning on just feeding this directly back into the farm for now, just so that the seeds keep going. But, that's the idea. Should work out well. Let's see how this works right now. Just pop this over there for now until I get another engine. Hmm. No coal. One second. Alright, I just went ahead and uh, made another one of these engines again just so that I can get everything hooked up and just put this everywhere. Let's see, got my wooden one coming out of that and this for going there. Okay, yeah, I was figuring it should go automatically, so there it's breaking it off, so ooh, nice. Wonder if I put a chest to the side, will it should it uh, automatically deposit into that, or is that just uh, the other machines? I'm gonna check that out really quick. All right, so it does just deposit still out to the same side for now. I'm gonna have to get a sorting pipe on here or something so that it will pull it off, but. Uh, yeah, for the moment, that's uh, going to work out just fine. I think I'll just stick some diamond pipe together, actually, for sorting it instead of setting up a sorting machine just yet. I do have some left in here. I doubt it's any different than the other recipes. It is different. Okay, one second. Diamond. And diamond transport pipe. Ah, duh. <laughs> yeah. Brain fart. I need two of them. So, glass. And we got pipes. So, I'm going to just throw one of those on there. And it should do a good job for that. Stop me from having a big group of. seeds on one side. Okay, and there we go. I don't actually need a wooden pipe for this one. And I just have it set up as you can see here. Green for the seeds, yellow for the wheat. Everything sorts out just fine. Now I can just leave this alone for now, I guess. But uh, I'm definitely going to need a better power source. I'm thinking with this nice open area here. This top floor I'll just set up for a solar panel array. 
and that's what I used to power some machines here, and I think that'll work out just fine, because solar power is amazing. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, so uh, I think that'll be just about it for this episode. Got a wheat farm up and running, got the combine up to collect all that, and even got some... Uh, uh, the apiary I'll set it up for these bees even though I'm not quite sure how to get them working the best way yet uh, though uh, I figure we'll get that done in the next episode we'll set up some solar panels to go for the wheat farm over there we'll figure out how to run these bees and who knows thank you guys for watching though remember to like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys next time.